Look what I got here, the DJI Smart Controller. And as I've been joking about here lately, I'm probably the last person in the world that uh, got my hands on this. At least I'm a little bit late to the party. I decided I would take the plunge and invest in the Smart Controller to simplify my flying experience. So uh, let's get this one uh, unboxed and see what's inside. And you know what? I never had one of these in my hands. So this is a brand new experience for me as well that I want to share with you guys. So let's get it unboxed and see what's inside the box. And by the way, welcome to another video. I'm Henrik Olsen. And if you want to learn how to make better videos with your camera and drone in general, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. So let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> An instruction in French, I think. That's not very helpful. <laughs> I don't know why it's in French. <laughs> so there's the smart controller. Ooh, that feels, feels really, really nice. Oh, it's heavy. Heavy duty operation. It's pretty good for my rehab, except I'm not doing any rehab with my arms. <laughs> Take this off so we can see it close by. Ooh, so very nice. So what we have here, we have the control, the stick control. We have the return to home button, the power button, the pause button, which is by the way, your friend, if you run into problems, it's really, really nice to have the pause button close by. And then there's this uh, like small joystick that uh, will help navigate the menus, I would assume. On the top here, we have a record button, a camera shutter button, we have the two wheels and on the back side we have the antenna they can go like this or they can go like this so so this is the dji smart controller let's just see what else is in the package here there's an instruction manual like you would expect and uh, if you're anything like me, we just forget that for a while until we run into problems. <laughs> so let's just put that one in here and see what else is delivered in the box here. So there's a European wall charger. There's a USB-C cable. And a pair of extra sticks. That's more or less what we could expect in this box set. That's also not what makes it exciting. It's the controller by itself. Let's see if we can locate the sticks. They are supposed to be somewhere in here. Oh, they are on the back side of the antenna. So there are two sticks here. Flip it around here. Then we screw those in. Screw it. So let's just feel it. They feel very nice. Some might argue that the, the approach that DJI has to, decided right now to put the screen on top of uh, the way that you, you remote the drone is uh, better. But uh, I think the feel of this is, is quite nice. At least the size of the screen is pretty nice compared to what I'm used to with my phone. Let's see if I hold up my phone. It's not that much bigger, actually. So I mainly bought this controller to fly it with my TGI Mavic 2 Pro that's currently located over here somewhere and to simplify the flying experience. Of course, I would really appreciate if it's compatible with the TGI Mini 2. I know that the controller is hopelessly behind when it's in terms of software updates. I know that the latest version, the TGI Fly App 112, is not yet available which will make it incompatible, at least out of the box with the Mini 2. But let's see, um, at least it's uh, possible to uh, use this controller with the Mavic Air 2. So uh, it is supposed to be able to run the DJI Fly app, which is a requirement for us to be able to hook it up to the DJI Mini 2. Let's power it on and see what happens. So. DJI! Hmm. 
So let's see what's going on. So now it's it asked for what type of language is it? A, so I can press next. Yes, it is. I can agree, and I can say where I am. I am in Denmark. If uh, you happen to doubt that or did not know that, so I press Denmark, then I press next, and then it scans for the Wi-Fi, and we are using. Let's just do that. So then we need to set the time zone, Amsterdam, Berlin, that will do, like that, the date is correct, time is correct, press next, so confirm, then it wants me to log into my DJI account, log in successfully, activate. And join the product improvement program, I can do that. Firmware updates in the background, I can do that too. And then there's a tutorial that will show you all the stuff. This go to the camera view, enter the gallery, da 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 da, enter apps, swipe down here like you would do on a normal Android device. And uh, there's a watch again and open tips, da 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 complete I don't want more of that so and uh, it seems that uh, this controller comes 50% charged so let's just go and connect to your drone and in this case it launches uh, the DJI Go app and uh, as you probably know if you have been around owning a few uh, drones uh, from DJI you can remember that the, the Pro Series is actually being operated with something else than the DJI Fly app it's being operated with the, the DJI Go 4 app. And this is what currently is installed on this. Oh, what? New drone regulations from 31th of December 2020. 2020. 2020. <laughs> 2020. So what you need to know. Yes, I don't need to know that right now. So go to the office and download the map of your location. I will do that. Download. Region 1, I don't know what Region 1 is, I guess that's Africa. <laughs> Return to home will be a little bit long if it's uh, Africa. So why do we fly DJI drones? That's because they're so easy to operate and uh, they have a great camera. But do you sometimes struggle finding the right location for your next Instagram photo? That's why I took a crash course by the City Shape photographer called Capture Your City Story. That's talking about meaningful locations, shooting in your own experimental style, and curate your final photo into a set of one-of-a-kind photos. The city shape photographer uses DSLR, but the principles that he's using easily applies to drones as well. I found this course on Skillshare, which is also the sponsor of this video. If you don't know Skillshare, that's an online learning community that offers memberships much like Netflix uh, through an annual subscription fee that will gain you access to more than 20,000 courses. It's very affordable. It comes in then less than $10 a month. But you know what? The best part is that you can test it out for free. The first 1,000 that click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Let's get back to the video and check out the GGI Smart Control. So let's see if we can connect this to my Mavic 2 Pro. And right now there's no instruction. So let's see if we can Pair these two. Man, it's a long time since I fired up this. Connect to the aircraft. Zips. So we just do the next here. Turning on the aircraft, remove the joystick and told them, yeah, 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 we have done all that. So the next part is interesting. We just need to go to the side of the drone here. So this one, then you gotta press down this one. Maybe we need to press this one first. Connection successfully. <laughs> so now it has probably a ton of updates that needs to be installed. Inconsistent firmware found. So let's do that. 
So far, it has been pretty uncomplicated uh, hooking up uh, this uh, the smart controller to the Mavic uh, 2 Pro. So let's see. Dee -dee -dee. And I tell you, it's super super nice, especially after I've upgraded to the to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This doesn't fit in the regular remote, so it's kind of uh, nice that I have uh, bought this controller. So, it says go fly. So safety tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the reason why it's so dark is because I have the MD filter put on here. Here is the flight mode. So it's uh, just taking me through like a explanation of what's inside the app here. But for those of you that know the DJI Go 4 app, this shouldn't be a big issue. And there's the takeoff button and we are not going to use that right now. So everything looks more or less like you would expect. So the tutorial is complete. So I can start and stop the video. I have everything nicely in the locations uh, that uh, you would expect if you have a uh, prior experience using the DJI Go 4 app. So that's pretty nice. That was uh, very, very easy to get this one going. Did we cover all the buttons on the, this remote? There were two function buttons there. There was this two, the two wheels there. It seems there is an SD card slot here in the top. There's a USB uh, connector. There's also a HDMI. I would expect that could be somehow um, used to draw an output from the controller screen directly onto like a big screen so you can show whatever is uh, going on. Uh, we had the two buttons here. Yeah, yeah, we upgrade. We have the two buttons here that are linked to the operating system. Here in the base, we have a USB C charging port. We have two speakers, I would think it is. I don't know what it is, but it looks like either it's vending holes or speakers. There are some screw holes here that will allow you to mount it to something. And that's basically it. That's what you get with the DJI Smart Controller. It's a, uh, and then if you hold it up against this one, it's not that much bigger, actually. And one of the key advantages, I even uh, did not talk about that in the beginning, but is that the, the screen is super, super bright. It's uh, 1000 nits that will help you tremendously when you're out in the sun. And also, of course, it's an AcuSync 2.0, so it has a super strong uh, connection. It will work from minus 20 Celsius up to plus 40. So it has a wide uh, temperature range that will allow you to go out and fly this uh, even in cold conditions. The price is a little bit steep for this uh, kind of unit. If you do any kind of professional work with uh, your drone, I think you will appreciate the simplicity of, uh, of having a remote like this. But unfortunately, it will not work with the Mini 2 as it is uh, right now. So we still have to wait a little bit before we get to that point. I will move on, get a little bit more experience with this controller and then return with a follow-up video once I know what's up and down and how well that it works out in real life. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.